We were talking about pink salt mm -hmm. and then the Himalayan salt that, that you buy at health food stores having the iodine in them as a natural sub right. substance. Right, that and a lot of other minerals too. Yes. So, so Himalayan, salt, Himalayan salt would be good? Salt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's really good for you. It's a little bit more, but it lasts, I mean, it lasts a long time. So yeah. we're talking about food labels. It's really important to read those food labels. I mean, we do have choices, right? Um, I was going to say, what part does the food industry play in the obesity of America? But the bottom line is, we're responsible. We are responsible. Mm -hmm. And about reading food labels, you know, if you don't know that you have termites in your house, does that mean they're not doing damage? Exactly. You know, you right. are responsible whether or not um, it's labeled you know or what's not. In it. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Because and you could go through a supermarket, mm -hmm. a regular supermarket, and find that probably most of what's sitting on the shelf has fillers in them mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, chemicals in them. And if you don't know how to read those labels, I mean, some of the, the words mm -hmm. on those on labels are right. about this long. And what does it mean? Yeah. I think that the idea is, is, is eat chemicals. healthy, eat natural, and you won't have to be worried about... We're talking about, about lean, clean sources of protein yeah. and lots of fruit and vegetables. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the other thing is that... Um, I'm, I'm skipping back to um, the, the optimal diet program too. Mm -hmm. If you're diabetic and if you're trying to avoid diabetes, one of the best things you could do is go grainless. Don't eat grains. Really? Uh, Don't eat grains. It means the fibrous ones. It means flat or grain products. I'm saying if you want to drop your cholesterol, mm -hmm. drop no your bread. blood sugar, and drop your blood pressure right now, go a month. Grain free, okay, and that means no bread, no pasta, no rice. Right, just grain well, free. So much of it also is not uh, pure. I mean, it's it, right. It's it's been altered, yeah. and, and all so that it stuff says that you're talking about on the label, know. it just eventually it ends up in the liver, and we have to yeah. do something as naturopaths. We have to do something to clear the liver. <laughs> now, I, I've yeah. heard a lot about gluten. Is gluten part of the problem? And what is gluten? Gluten, well, I gluten is in a class of proteins called gliadins, and gliadins are little molecules that hang off of certain grains like wheat mm -hmm. and rye, mm -hmm. and um, what they do is, um, I mean, they're, they're great targets for antibodies, and that's why a lot of people are allergic to it, okay? Oh. That could, if somebody... Um, has a food allergy that they're they're easy targets for the for the immune system, but there are also some people who have they are lacking an enzyme that helps them to mm -hmm. digest that, and that's called celiac disease. That's an absolute intolerance. Mm -hmm. It acts like absolute poison and it makes them very sick. Very ill. And yeah. so they have to avoid it. Now you can mm -hmm. have a food allergy to gluten, and not have celiacs, mm -hmm. but you you do not. Um, and you can have a wheat allergy that's not to all gluten. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, food allergies generally develop when somebody eats the same thing over and over yeah, see, again. We're seeing more and more food allergies, too, aren't we? What yeah. happens is that the, the gut lining of your intestines gets a little bit leaky. And food macromolecules get through the gut lining and into the bloodstream. Then the... the the immune system sees it and starts going after it like it was an invader or a pathogen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people always have food allergies before they have environmental allergies. So when people come and, and see me, one of the things that we're going to do is diet therapy mm -hmm. for their allergies if they've got mm -hmm. this going on, even seasonally. But after mm -hmm. about a year of diet therapy, it'll completely clear your environmental allergies. You, know, you can get organic meats, yeah, but it's harder to come by that as well. You can get natural meats. There's mm -hmm. a, it's so expensive to produce that um, mm -hmm. yeah. producers don't make it yeah. um, as often. But you can get natural meats. But you know, you are always going to be safe with organic fruits and vegetables. Always. And mm -hmm. the idea is to find the proteins. And mm -hmm. it's true creatively because just yeah. being vegetarian doesn't mean from what yeah. I've seen, that you stay healthy oh, because yeah. somehow it feels to me as though they are not looking at their protein levels 
Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, mm -hmm. I've known five people right. that have been vegetarian and got very, very ill right. because they didn't have the balance. And right. if they're going with soy, then they have to worry about genetically or altered they food. They should be going with non-genetically yeah. altered yeah. soy. And it, mm -hmm. okay, is there soy that's not um, genetically altered? Yes, but it has to. You oh. have to see it. Non-GMO. And what about meat? If we can't get organic, how bad is the are the hormones and the and whatever they do, the antibiotics? It's bad. Well, again, I mean, you're gonna you're in the food chain. Mm -hmm. If those if if the animals are given hormones, you're eating those hormones, and that's considered why um, young girls are getting their periods earlier. Eight years and nine years old. Wow. And and it also you're getting, you know, whatever they're giving. Um, the animals so it's really worth going out of your way mm -hmm. to make sure that mm -hmm. your food source is as clean as possible including and that water? includes your water yeah there's a saying buy a filter or be a filter you yeah. know oh yeah so a filter. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, buy good. a filter or be a filter I like it and you are what you eat mm -hmm. well I think there oh. has to be some investigation mm -hmm. on the type of water purification because yes. there's a lot of hype on things uh, I know that you can go in a certain store that's very popular with a lot of people and they're selling these inexpensive water purifiers and it's doing really nothing mm -hmm. to really purify the water. Right. It's not taking care of the viruses and that right. sort of thing. Uh, my, it's uh, worth investing in a good quality absolutely. one. Mm -hmm. because absolutely. Because it's your health. It's your health.